We're gonna slice our onions using our mandolin. I have it set to the thickest setting. I have left the root in on the onions. Now for French dip sandwiches, we're going to use a beef chuck roast. And this was probably about a five to six pound chuck roast. And of course for two people, we don't need that much meat. So all I did was I cut it in half and froze my roast and I'll have the other half another night. Many recipes that I have, uh, seen talk about searing the meat first we're gonna sear our onions for our sandwich first because i want my oil to have that onion flavor in it so what i have here is a skillet notice i'm not using a non-stick skillet and i have been getting my oil very hot i think it is really hot now so i think we're gonna add our onions Always add a little bit of salt to your onions when they're cooking. And we just want to stir these gently as they cook for about five to seven minutes or until they start to get translucent. We're not caramelizing these all the way. Okay, you can see our onions are already getting soft and translucent. We're gonna turn this eye off just so I don't burn myself. And now what we're gonna do is just take our onions and go ahead and just add them to our crock pot on the bottom. All right, now we have a hot skillet that's gonna be ready for our roast. I've already uh, seasoned the top and the bottom. And here's how I do the sides. I got an extra large plate for it. I spread the salt and paper or, or salt and pepper around the edges and then I just move my meat on that salt and pepper rotating and you can see how I'm flavoring the edges. That's what you want to hear. And we're gonna go ahead and sear all sides till it gets a nice crust. You see that nice crust? Obviously, when you're not cooking this all the way through, make sure you got a really good long set of tongs, and you're just kind of holding the roast over the center of the skillet. We're going to take this roast straight over to our crock pot, and we're going to lay it in on top of our onions. See that? Now, here's something I haven't seen others do. While this pan is still hot, we're gonna take a little Marsala and we're gonna deglaze our pan. I do have the eye off. Oh, baby. Okay, I decided to use a spoon. Boy, see how that gets that pan clean? All that was flavor. We're gonna take this and put it right in our crock pot on top of our meat. I'm telling you, that was a ton of flavor. What we're gonna do now is to make a kind of a jus to cook the roast in. I have this uh, au jus base. Now you can use a beef base. You could use beef consomme soup. You could use beef bouillon. But I like to use this for the intensity of the flavor. So I have a cup of water. To that I added my beef base, some onion powder, some ground cumin, some garlic powder, mixed it up, and put it in the slow cooker with the roast. All 
All right, you can either cook your roast on low for about seven to eight hours or on high for about four to five hours. Now, doesn't that look good? To finish up our sandwiches, we're going to toast some bread in a hot cast iron skillet. I'm going to add some meat, your favorite cheese. We used provolone, put it in the broiler till the cheese melts. Make sure you strain out your residual juices so uh, you can use that as a dipping sauce for your sandwich. Mmm, doesn't that look good? Make sure you subscribe and give us the thumbs up button if you like this video.